what is the hotspot in Foundation to be a hotspot in any database? Um, for that matter, high volume of writes or reads to a small set of blocks, a small uh, number of partitions, um, in this case on a storage node, or a set of storage nodes uh, team, as if it depends on how much, uh, as based on your application. Um, a couple of metrics, uh, just to sort of give you context, everybody's mentioned, uh, Steve mentioned the storage node uh, keeps five seconds of data in a version tree um, that are non-durable. Uh, this can grow and shrink in size. The storage queue is the size of these mutations. The, the, and another metric called non-durable versions is the number of versions that have not been persisted to the SQL light. Um, and the only thing you really need to know is that when storage queue goes up, rate keeper goes down. Uh, when NDV goes up, bad things happen uh, when it goes too high. Um, so there's, this is a simple talk. There's just a couple of takeaways, and maybe I can give some more time back. If um, you want to detect two kinds of things, if you have a right hotspot, you will find that both the storage queue and the NDV go up simultaneously on a specific process. Um, if you have a read hotspot, you'll find that only the, only the NDV goes up and not so much the storage queue. And um, the reason for this is FoundationDB tries to prioritize reads over writes. Um, if you have a large amount of writes, then um, um, they, they get deprioritized and the, 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 the storage queue, I mean, the, the storage node is busy supplying all the reads. If there's a large number of reads, then the storage non-durable versions will go up as a result. Uh, so how do we solve these problems? We made a code change, uh, which changes the priority of the right tasks. You will see this in the previous slide. That solid line up top is, in, in, the, in the lower chart, is we said, uh oh writes are not getting pushed at all. Let's increase the priority of writes over reads. Um, that helps us a lot. Uh, we applied application level throttling that can throttle reads, writes, finer grain throttling for, oh, these are certain um, applications that are doing worse. But most importantly, uh, this is the second takeaway from this talk, is you need to understand your data patterns. And, and this is something that being a database company, we should be really good at, but it turns out we weren't as good as we should be. And we've been sort of, you know, knocked on the head by various people, including some sitting in this room, about that. Um, so um, how would you do this? FoundationDB keeps track of partition stats but doesn't have any application context. The application or the layers itself have both application context and an API that they can use to get partition stats from FoundationDB. I mean, we may have made some changes to it to give you both the storage and the port information, but it's a trivial change that can be ported to the open source quite quickly. Um, and in, in, and, and so now if you take your application context and merge it along with the partition stats, then you kind of know where your data accesses are going. Which storage nodes are they going? Where are your writes really flowing to? Uh, and then we keep stats for every single transaction. We, we just buffer this up in memory, and when it's time, we flush it out to disk. If, if you're running very high throughput, you can switch over to sampling. This is a sample stat. Um, all I really want to show is that we have partition rank, and we call it partition rank, but it's really a shard in FDB terms. Um, um, and we see, aha, you know, we fed so many bytes from here, we set so many bytes there. Um, um, and then you take this information, in our case, we push it back into Snowflake because we can query it easily, you can push it anywhere else you want to. Um, the, I've heard the FDB team has considered pushing it back into FDB itself and running queries on top of it. But um, you know, it's very common to see Zipfian distributions for your data, where you say there's a large amount of, um, uh, of, 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 of certain kinds of data and very little of the others. Uh, this in itself is not a problem. However, skews in data access is a problem. And here what we've done is we've tried to figure out how much data is read or written per minute for like top partitions? Um, and the and, and that's the graph on the right, by the way. Uh, oh, sorry, that's the graph on the left, which is per partition. What are the reads? 
And then the graph on the right is by the entity. So this is, the graph on the left is the view from the FDB side, the graph on the right is the view from the application side, but they've both been sort of merged in and you're sort of looking at them together. Um, so what do you do? You address this in various ways, like the first two or three um, uh, sort of data access patterns here are clearly egregious and need fixing. Um, you can cache, you can fix your accesses, but you know, if you're going to access close to a gigabyte a second, or sorry, a gigabyte a minute, then at least in our system, you will cause problems. Um, and that's it. Thank you.